Who said trading or investing was easy? It's definitely not, unless you buying puts for the past few weeks. But unless you're buying calls or you're a long-term investor, you are definitely seeing a lot of pain. This environment, this stock market right now is not the same as it was back in 2020 or even in 2021 where you would you buy a dip. Guess what? It continues to dip more. But before I continue, just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I also have a Discord that I am trying to grow. So if you guys are interested, definitely come check it out. We did start a 1K challenge and DT the Analyst was able to bring people's account from 1K to 2K. If you are interested, definitely come check it out. Video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some Wall Street bets losses. Most of these are probably options. So we're gonna start with this one. How do you deal with it? Literally, every play I have made in the past two years has turned out bad. I just wanted to tell all of you, go F yourselves. All you retard F saying the market aren't manipulated. I mean, how are they not? 89% of the market is owned by a small percentage of people. That's clear evidence of financial terrorism in a financial system that is designed to rob regular investors. Instead of talking about your next BS play that's going to get manipulated to high heaven and then whining, when does it exact opposite what it should do? Why don't you do something about it? I'm past my breaking point. F it. I'll take my lumps. I'm a retard through and through, but F you for not being as angry as I am. God damn it. Sign down a house. A lot of Wall Street Bets users are down quite a bit, especially on GameStop, AMC. Wall Street Bets went from having 1 million Reddit users to now over, I think it's 11 million now. A lot of people just flock to the stock market after they have seen people make money with GameStop. Next one, we have Lucid. Oh, wow. Lucid is under $30. Can I nominate my cousin as an honorary Wall Street Bets member? Most of these are, again, call options. We have another call, 37 strike. It expires tomorrow. So unless Lucid jumps up 10 points, this is most likely going to be considered worthless. He still has $300. He can take it. Hopefully, it doesn't go down tomorrow. Next, we have... Bought more Tesla today. Tesla shares is fine because we all know Tesla has been making people millionaires since 10 years ago. There's articles from 10 years ago. So we know that Tesla is a different beast. It will continue to go up. That's why when it goes down, people continuously buy the dip. That's one stock that I would consider buying the dip on, but it is very expensive. Next, we have more options. These are IBM puts that expires in June. Wow, he's down $20,000. Let's take a quick look at where IBM is at. I'm going to go to Finviz and check out IBM's price. So IBM is trading at $132 and his strike price is $125. IBM is a very strong company. We can see that it hasn't really gone down other than back in december so hopefully he gets his money back that's a lot of money to be putting into some puts expiring in six months oh apple earnings fail oh no he bought puts oh wow he was actually up for the day and these expire on the 28th which is tomorrow he spent four thousand dollars apple went up after hours this person lost $50,000 in the past year. Well, the year, only three weeks. You know what happened? The market turned. Every dip that you bought will continue to go down. So unless you're, like I said, unless you're buying puts, your portfolio is down. Again, we have all these calls. Well, puts, calls, calls, calls. They expired in 2023. So he's fine for now. And then we have Hood. This is a worse investment than Wish. He doesn't say his position. Well, they're all fairly bad. Hood. Young Warren Buffett. The past month. More, y'all. All 33,000 Amazon calls. Oh, man. New net. New year, new accounts. 
I've heard you guys like these around here. Thirteen thousand dollars. All biotech all the time. Yeah, biotechs down eighty two k in three months. AMD, Fubo, Roku, they all just plummeted. It is just sad. New residents. A bag holder bill. I've been watching the bloodbath across my board the last few weeks, months. I am now a legit bag holder, but never bet what you can't lose. I don't know if this will post. Mods want to see more effort. After looking at my board, I really feel the effort is slowly, slowly draining my from my existence. Where is Elon Musk when you need him? Wow, this person still has four hundred eighty-eight thousand dollars. I am starting to think option trading isn't my thing. Again, options. People are losing with options. Yes, you can make a lot of money or you can lose a lot of money. It goes either way. If the stock doesn't go in your favor, you will lose a lot of money. Here we go. On my birthday one year ago from today, I could have cashed out 60K from a 5K investment on my very first trade. And now here I am, down $21,000. It's not the same. It's not the same as it was one year, two years ago. <gasps> oh, wow, 251000 That's a down payment for a house. I mean, I've lost quite a bit of money. On June 2nd, my portfolio was liquidated, and that was because I over leveraged. I sold too many naked calls. Naked calls are the worst thing you can possibly do. Selling naked calls has a limited risk, and it is true. Lost it all, but couldn't walk away. So my spite puts thinking J-Pal would take care of me. My lost porn. It's just on paper, right? Wow. Okay, well, he still has $682,000, which is a lot. You can definitely get, you can make your money back if you have the capital, but if you have no capital, it's very difficult to make the money back. And that's pretty much it. Let me know how you're doing in the comments down below and definitely come check out the Discord. Hope to see you there.